So what I'm going to share with you today saddens my heart and this is because some of you are on the verge of making the biggest mistakes in your farm. Whereas some of you have already made up these mistakes. Fish farming is based on principles and so it is based on these principles that technologies are made. Example, plants need nutrients and nutrition and so if you do not give plants the nutrients they need, they will definitely die. There is no way you can solve this problem until you give them the basics. Another one, fishes need oxygen in order to live. This is a basic principle. If you do not give them these conditions that they need, it's not going to be easy. There is no other way for you to solve this problem. There is no technology that can solve this problem in your farm. If you defy these principles, you lose money. If you want a business, which is proven to be sustainable, especially in a business like this, which is fish farming, which we all know that everybody eats fish, then it means that you need to get certain things right, right on the go. It is not about having 5,000 fishes or 10,000 fishes or 100,000 fishes capacity in your fish farm. It is about knowing the right things to do and then making sure that you do them from the very start of your fish farm. This is because if you are making losses, as a result of not understanding the basics of the business, at the end of the day, you are going to make exponential losses. That is the same way if you also choose to also look at uh, better ways of farming, you are going to make good profit. And this is what new farmers neglect most of the time. They are looking for ways to just produce and they do not care about other important aspects of this business. I am going to unveil to you these things that can either make your business or hurt your business. Now, I have had a lot of interactions with people who have been in this industry for quite some time, most of them over 10 years. And the question I ask myself is, why are they still in business? Are they in business because maybe business is not good enough and it's so hard for them to come out of the business because of maybe emotions or the establishments they've had? or they are still in business because of something they are seeing which is fueling their commitment. We all know that these people have started their fish farms and these people who have been in business for over 10 years have built some level of experience. There is no way you can run a fish farm without being experienced. That leads me to my first point. That is training. Because the way by which you can easily make up for some of these experiences is by being trained and this is what aches me so much because i just received a call from someone that was yesterday and he told me that he lost 80 percent of the fishes he stocked in his setup just in a week and as a result of our conversations because he was asking me for consultancy i realized that there were basic things he missed which was training he didn't really know what he was doing and so he stopped, he realized he had mortalities, and then he was trying to solve the problem, and he rather made it worse. Now, training is actually going to help you to cut down on some of these mistakes which you can avoid. What I've realized so far after moving around and having interactions with other farmers and people who are reaching out to me, I have a problem in my farm, I want to know this, I want to know that, I come and check this problem for me. What I realized is, they do not have the necessary information and they are not trained enough. And because they are not trained enough, they are making simple, simple mistakes that we can avoid. Now, I realize that most of them, because of how hard their mistakes hit them, they are unable to recover from this. And then for that matter, they cannot even continue their business anymore. So if you do not want to make the very, very simple mistakes, even with setup, because some people have made some setups and then after some time, they are losing money because the entire money they used in their system, they have to remodify everything because it's not helping them. And so if you are not trained enough, there is no way you can do this. Think about it. If you are sick, you go to the doctor. So that is the same way if you want this fish farm to grow for you, you need to be well informed. You need to know exactly what you are doing because the problems we are facing is too much. It's too much because people are not trained. Yes, it is a good business. Yes, it is proven to be sustainable. According to the FAO, we know that it is sustainable. But if you don't get the basics right, forget about it. 
Because some of the monies that I've seen people lose in just a month can be used for other ventures. So if you want to do this fish farming and you want to do it right, you want to make sure you get yourself trained. Now after training, this leads me to my second point, which is try and start small. I've had a lot of people who call me and when you talk to them, they are like, I want to start 10,000 fishes capacity. I want to start 20,000 fishes capacity. And the question I ask them is, have you had any experience with fishes? They'll tell you no. And most of the time I try to tell people, start small, start small. Because in starting small, you are able to learn. Some of the things that you are trained from wherever you are receiving your training, you can come and practice them in your small system. What happens is your risk level is very low because if you commit any mistake, it is easier for you to be able to overcome those mistakes. Also, when you start small, this allows you to understand the market. And this will lead me to my third point, which is for you to make proper market analysis or forecast. Because you've, I've had a lot of people who are producing and they do not know where they are going to sell their fishes. They do not even know what the market is like. For most of you who have reached out to me and we've been in on one-on-one -on -one sessions, you realize that most of the time I ask you one major question. Have you visited any of the markets around you, the closest markets to you, to check out the prices of fishes? This is because you need to understand what is the situation on the market. The market keeps on changing every single time. For example, I run my own market analysis and I have a way of understanding what's going on in the market. And this drives my production because the market will tell you what size of fish you need to produce. Example, if you are producing smoked fishes, you are looking at fishes around like just four months, around like, let's say 700, 600, 700 grams, and then you can easily dispose them to the market because you are smoking them. But then if you are dealing with the grilled fish market, then you are looking at fishes above one kg or two kg, depending on the market's demand. Also, there are instances where people would want the smoked ones as bigger sizes. And so you need to understand the market and make your market analysis properly. This is the major problem many farmers are facing. I received calls from people telling me, I have 2,000 fishes, I cannot sell them. Can you help me sell them? Why? because they do not produce for the market. They produce because they had the means. I know I'm taking you through just four points, but I have a bonus point for you. So you like to stick through this video so that you know exactly what I have for you as a bonus. So our next point is value addition. The question is this, production is so easy, but how do you add value to your product? Because that is what is going to command good prices. So the first thing you ask yourself is, with what I am doing, what value is my market looking for? Is my market looking for my fishes to be smoked? Are they looking for my fishes to be smoked but packaged well? Are they looking for my fishes to be grilled? These things are going to help you to have control over the market. And also it's going to help you to make good money. Because I've had a lot of farmers who have so many fishes and they just sell them fresh and they lose a lot of money on the table. So if you want to consider the value addition, you're going to ask yourself in planning, you're going to ask yourself, what equipment do I need to be able to add the value intended? So do I need ovens? Do I need whatever thing it is? Just note them down. So that at least it will help you in driving your vision towards where the business is supposed to go. Also with value addition, the next thing you like to say is, um, do I need to get trained with respect to the kind of value I'm adding? Example, like you want to smoke your fishes. Do you need any kind of training that goes in there? Do you need any kind of um, expertise with the equipment or anything like that? So that's it. But wait, as I told you, I have a bonus tip for you. Now this bonus tip is just for you to forecast again into the business you want to run. And ask yourself, Aside all of this plan, what is my plan B if things doesn't work as planned? Example, you plan for the smoked fish market and now it's not working. What can you do with the fishes you have? So if you are looking at that particular kind of system, what you are going to do is you are going to consider maybe the, the grilled fish market as well, because you have to make sure that you can leverage from any of these available markets to you. Aside the smoked, the grilled, 
and then the fresh fish market. Also another kind of market you like to look into is the filet and then the fish powder market as well. This is the market that is emerging and so you can take advantage of that. Latman Farms is here to provide you with quality information and we've been doing that by giving you the regular uploads and also we have one-on-one -on -one sessions where we explain the value chain of the business and where you as an individual can take advantage of. We also, we're also planning of holding um, workshops for fish farmers, among other things. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and put on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our episodes.